How to teach critical thinking skills. You can teach different critical thinking strategies for each level of Bloom's revised taxonomy. For example, pattern finding and mnemonics can help with remembering. Sequencing, classifying, comparing and contrasting, and tracing causes and effects can help with understanding. Creating instructions, creating algorithms, identifying variables, and so on. Let's look at identifying variables. Math has taught us what constants and variables are. Constants are values that do not change, and variables are values that do change. For example, in the formula c equals 2 pi r, c and r are variables, and 2 and pi are constants. Math has also taught us that if we can isolate a variable, we can solve a problem. Here, 7x and 6x need to appear on the same side of the equation so that we can solve for x. In science, isolating variables is a key to experimental design. To do an experiment about the rate of coal combustion, first you can start by listing the types of variables that might affect it. The type of coal, amount of coal, heat source, and so on. Then you can design an experiment to isolate one of those variables and test it. This same sort of thinking works in English language arts. For example, if you replace one word in a poem, how does it affect the overall meaning of the poem? Or you can apply it to social studies. If one important factor of the situation were changed, how would all of the other factors be changed? These critical thinking strategies come from the high school version of Inquire. There's also a middle school and an elementary school version. Tell us what you'd like to know about Inquire and 21st century skills. Email us at contact at thoughtfullearning.com.